well, my Anchor 757 powerhouse has been outliving its drift life, uh, being, well, powering motorsports events for this season, and now it's come back because it will not charge. So, well, mains powered plug plugged in the wall, and in the power meter, and if I plug it into the back of the anchor, I can hear the click of electricity, but there is no charging. It is inputting zero watts, it knows it's plugged in, it is, has power, it is putting zero watts into the battery, and the power display on the wall shows five watts, which is just it being sitting there idly doing nothing. It does it's slow discharging, I have tried pressing the reset button with a pokey thing, all it does is basically reset the display and go back to not charging. So I guess what we're going to do now is, did I just click there? Did that just click there? Hello? No? No? My imagination? Like, everything else still works, it still puts power out, it still does all the things, everything else still works, it just won't take a charge. Which is rather important in power stations, you have to be able to charge them up. So, I guess we're going to take it apart, see, it knows the power's not there. Now, see if I can remember how to take it apart. I'm sure those ones around the side take the top cover off. What size are they? Threes? Are they threes or are you... Ah, they're stodden torques. Worse than that, they're security torques. Right, I'll be back once I've got this lid off. Well, I've gone over all of the boards that are in it and I don't see any anything blazing off. obvious. There's no scotch marks, there's no components that look like they've melted off and fallen, fallen back on. There is a fuse for the main inlet, but the fact that it's registering that it's connected and you hear the click of power makes me think it's probably not the fuse. I will check it afterwards, but I don't think it's the fuse. So I don't see anything else. And also, once I had it connected back together there again, I couldn't get the display to show anything other than everything at once. So I don't know if either I've killed it further or it was a death waiting to happen. So, YouTube friends, clever people, the much more clever people me uh, than out there, you people. I now have a 51.2 volt 1,228 water battery. What can I do with this? Um, it does have a model number, but I've Googled it and it doesn't bring me up anything. So I'm going to read it out to you. I'll even put it on screen. It is a TBCN, that's Tango Bravo Charlie November, 16 Sierra, no, yes, 16 Sierra 6 Papa dash Alpha 1770. I'm presuming that bit is going to be 16 series and 6 cells parallel, which I'm not sure because I can't see them at the moment because they're covered in tape. I don't really want to unpeel the tape, but there's a lot of batteries in there. And there's like, oh, that may be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I'm asking you clever people. So, what can I do with this? Do, and I mean, I can tell this is a BMS board. What do I need to charge these batteries and harness the power from them? I mean, I've got my XT90 connector here. I've tested it, that's at 51.2 volts just now. 
I've got this little connector here, which is also at 50 point something volts. And there's like a serial connector on this end. And there's also one on this end as well, which has got ground, receive, transmit. And that one's got SCL, SDA, SW and ground. And there's another missing one here uh, called wake up and it's got ground and wake up. What do I need to keep this battery charged? And what can I get so that we can use the power from it at 12 volts or mains power? Basically, I think it's time to build our own uh, power supply of some sort. Something we can do with this, because this isn't likely to be going back together any time soon. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, also taking it apart was a nightmare, so putting it back together is going to be a nightmare as well. We might as well make something out of it. The batteries are still good. Whatever's happened to the circuitry for charging it has died, perhaps. So, comments, please, down below. What do I need to harness the power of this battery and keep it charged? I await the clever people's comments down below on what I can do with it and how to best to proceed from here. Uh, so, um, thanks for watching and please, please help.